Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing great. Well, I'm doing great. Today, I'm going to read Authors Lose Tooth by Lillian Hobbin. I hope you like this book, so let's get started. Authors Lose Tooth by Lillian Hobbin. It was Saturday evening. Mother and father were at a party. The babysitter was fixing supper. Violet was playing with her doctor kit. She put a bandage on her doll's head. I am going to be a doctor when I grow up, she said. Where are you going to be, Arthur? Rum, rum, yelled Arthur. He held up his arms and made big muscles. I am going to be Captain Fearless, the bravest chimp in the world. I have the power, he shouted. Stop all that noise, said the babysitter. You are giving me a headache. My doll has a headache too, said Violet. I think I will put him to bed. Violet took her doll and her doctor kit. She started up the stairs. Then she came back. Arthur, she said, will you come with me? It is dark upstairs and I am scared. Only babies are scared of the dark, said Arthur. Captain Fearless isn't scared of anything. Watch him use the power. Arthur went zooming around the room. He bumped into tables and chairs. He knocked over Mother's sewing basket and a pile of newspapers. He knocked over Father's pipe stand and a bowl of fruit. Then he tripped and fell. Arthur cut his lip, Violet called to the babysitter. He is bleeding. Arthur sat up. He put his finger on his lip. There was blood all over his finger. I'm dying, I'm dying, he cried. Quick, get me a band-aid. I have a band-aid in my doctor kit, said Violet. And here are some cotton balls too. Hurry, hurry, yelled Arthur. My goodness, said the babysitter. You should not be scared of a little blood. She wiped Arthur's lip with a clean towel. There, she said, the blood is all gone. It is just a little cut. You don't even need a band-aid. I'm not scared of blood, said Violet. When I am a doctor, I am going to cut people open and fix their insides. There will be lots of blood. I was not really scared, said Arthur. I just thought I had swallowed my loose front tooth. Captain Fearless isn't scared of anything. He has the power. Hmm, said the babysitter. He should use the power to clean up the mess he made. Then we will have supper. What is for supper? asked Violet. Soup and sandwiches said the babysitter, and a special treat for dessert. Only babies need special treats, said Arthur. Well, it is a good thing you are not a baby, said the babysitter, because this special treat is bad for loose friend teeth. I bet I know what it is, said Violet. What is it? asked Arthur. You'll see, said the babysitter. Now clean up this mess. Arthur started to clean up. He picked up Father's pipe stand and a pile of newspaper. He picked up the bowl and the fruit. He picked up Mother's sewing basket and the pins and the needles and the thread. Some of the thread got tangled, said Violet. Mother's favorite pinky purple one is all in knots. Mother is not going to like that. Arthur tried to take the knots out of the thread. The more he tried, the more it tangled. I can get the knots out, said Violet. 
But first, you have to come upstairs with me. I want to put my doll to bed, and it is really dark up there now. Scaredy cat, said Arthur. Maybe I am scared of the dark, said Violet, but I am not scared of a little blood. I am not scared either, yelled Arthur. Violet, called the babysitter, come help me make dessert. All right, said Violet. She went into the kitchen. Arthur pulled at a knot in the thread. The thread broke off. He pulled at another knot. More thread broke off. After a while, there was broken thread all over Arthur. There was hardly any thread on the spool. Maybe I should let Violet do it, said Arthur. He took the spool of thread into the kitchen. Violet was dipping apples into a big pot. Guess what we are having for dessert, said Violet. It is your favorite treat. It is taffy apples. Taffy apples, said Arthur. I can't eat taffy apples with a loose tooth. It might get stuck in the taffy. Well, if it gets stuck, you can pull it out said Violet. I don't want to pull it out, said Arthur. What are you looking at anyway? I am looking at the thread, Arthur, said Violet. There is hardly any left on the spool. Mother is not going to like that one bit. I know, said Arthur. Nothing is any good for me. I couldn't get the knots out. I can't eat the taffy apples. All my luck has gone away. If your tooth came out, you could eat the taffy apples, said the babysitter. Then the tooth fairy would leave 50 cents under your pillow. You could buy some more thread. Arthur wiggled his tooth. It's not ready to come out, he said. Let me see, said Violet. Arthur wiggled his tooth some more. It looks ready, said Violet. It's very loose, said the babysitter. It's just about hanging in there. But if it comes out, there will be lots of blood, said Arthur. I thought you said you were not scared, said Violet. I'm not, I'm not, yelled Arthur. I just don't like the way it looks. I know, said Violet. I don't like the way the dark looks. It looks like creepy crawlies waiting to get me. But if I go into the dark, even if it scares me, that means I am really brave. Who told you that? asked Arthur. I did, said the babysitter. Anybody can do things they are not afraid of, but only brave people do things they are scared to do. Well, said Arthur, I don't believe you. I think you are mean. You made taffy apples, and you know I cannot eat them. It's no fair. She is not mean, said Violet. She said, if I am very brave, I can make s'mores for you. You can eat s'mores even with a loose front tooth. What are s'mores? asked Arthur. You'll see, said Violet. But first, I have to get some sticks so I can make them. I am going out in the dark all by myself. I am scared, but I will do it anyway. Violet put on her coat. Watch me be brave, she said. Then she opened the door and went out into the dark. Arthur, said the babysitter, you can be brave too. You can go upstairs and get washed. What? said Arthur. I am not scared to go upstairs in the dark. I know, said the babysitter, but sometimes I think you are scared of a little soap and water. Arthur 
went upstairs. He put the spool of thread on the sink. He turned on the water. Then he looked in the mirror and wiggled his tooth. It was very, very loose. I wonder what s'mores are, he said. I bet they are not as good as taffy apples. Arthur washed his face and hands. Then he sat down on the edge of the bathtub and looked at the spool of thread. I wish the tooth fairy would come, he said. I sure could use fifty cents. The kitchen door slammed. Arthur! Violet called. I have the sticks to make the s'mores. Now I am brave. The creepy crawlies didn't even try to get me. Arthur thought about being brave. He thought about the tooth fairy in fifty cents under his pillow. He wiggled his tooth with his fingers. He wiggled it with his thumb. Then he sighed and pulled a long piece of pinky purple thread from the spool. He wrapped one end around the doorknob. He tied the other end around the loose tooth. He closed his eyes and waited. Arthur called the babysitter. Come down for supper. Arthur did not answer. Arthur called the babysitter. Come down right now. Arthur still did not answer. The babysitter came up the stairs. She knocked at the bathroom door. Arthur, come out of there, she said. Arthur kept his eyes tight shut. He did not say a word. "I'm coming in," said the babysitter. She turned the knob on the bathroom door. The thread around the knob jerked. It jerked so hard it yanked Arthur's tooth right out of his mouth. "It's out! It's out!" shouted Arthur. He held his tooth in his hand and put his thumb in the empty space. See," said to the babysitter, "I told you I'm not afraid of blood." Well then, Captain Fearless," said the babysitter, "you can open your eyes and look now that you really are brave." Arthur opened his eyes. There was a little blood on his hand and a little on his tooth. It did not scare him one bit. Arthur and the babysitter went downstairs for supper. I pulled my tooth out. Arthur said to Violet, "I was very brave." Yes, he was," said the babysitter. Now he can have s'mores and toffee apples for dessert. After supper, the babysitter built a fire. Violet showed Arthur how to make s'mores. First, you toast a marshmallow, said Violet. Next, you put some chocolate on a graham cracker. Then you put the marshmallow on the chocolate and another graham cracker on top. It tastes so good. You want some more? That's why they are called s'mores. So Violet, the babysitter, and Arthur toasted marshmallows and made s'mores. Then they all sat around the fire and ate the taffy apples and the s'mores. It was very cozy. The end. I hope you liked this book. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Bye bye, everyone. See you in the next video.